we are live and thank you all for showing up today and uh, listening to the presentation from Alicia about Celebrity Cruises. I'm Nora Bloom, I'm with Travel Leaders and if you have any questions, you can feel free to reach out to me either in the chat or in the Q&A and I'll sort of facilitate your questions. So I'm gonna turn it over to Alicia, thanks again. For sure, thank you Nora for the opportunity to connect and thank you everybody for taking the time to join us today. Um, we at Celebrity are so excited that someday is finally here. We've got a couple of groups of sailings assured to sail this summer. And maybe those of you who are following Cruise News saw a very encouraging article from Reuters this morning. The CDC has committed to working with us to resume sailing this summer yet. So more opportunities will surely be coming up. But right now, let's just talk a little bit about sailing in the Caribbean this summer with Celebrity Cruises. So right now, you can book a round trip St. Martin sailing on Celebrity on the beautiful refurbished Celebrity Millennium. Itineraries are available to uh, purchase now. So definitely contact your travel leaders agent for expertise and insight on pricing and availability. I work so closely with all the offices at Travel Leaders and they are knowledgeable agents who are thrilled to take your call. So definitely reach out to them once you're ready to start planning. So our sailings round trip from St. Martin, we kind of have two different itineraries going on. We're calling it a butterfly itinerary because it makes the shape of a butterfly in the water, um, but two groups to choose from nonetheless. So starting June 5th, you can sail Aruba, Curacao, and Barbados, uh, or Tortola, St. Lucia, and Barbados. Nonetheless, each itinerary offers a wonderful, picturesque vacation in the Caribbean and a great way to spend at least one of our beautiful summer weeks. The itineraries themselves offer a really generous disembarkation time in that we are departing St. Martin at 10 p.m. So that means it's easier now more than ever to fly in the same day, go direct to the ship and enjoy your wonderful new luxury vacation. Um, so here's a look at that Aruba, Curacao, Barbados itineraries. You can see there's a couple of days at sea there to enjoy some of the features on board the ship. Um, but nonetheless, ample opportunity to enjoy some beautiful Caribbean destinations. And then here is that Tortola, St. Lucia, Barbados itinerary. Once again, features a really late disembarkation time and easier to just fly in same day and head right to the ship. Um, so same kind of situation here, a few days at sea, Tortola, St. Lucia, and Barbados will be your stop. And let's not forget St. Martin is a beautiful place to visit as well. So I wanted to highlight just a couple of those islands. I know uh, there are quite a few to choose from with these two groupings, but Aruba, first and foremost, one of my very favorites, uh, home to some beautiful white sand beaches and uh, just a true variety of culture. I don't know if you guys knew this, but Aruba is one of the most diverse nations on this earth. They actually have uh, 90 different nationalities represented, which is pretty robust. So um, residents often speak at least four languages, uh, typically English, Dutch, Spanish, and Papiamento, which is their own indigenous language. Well, not indigenous, but um, has kind of grown to become the language of the island. But nonetheless, all of this cultural fusion creates a one-of-a-kind destination. Um, many of you probably know the picture-perfect postcards of the Divi Divi trees. These are the trees that are on the beach and they're kind of um, swayed over to one side from the constant wind coming off the ocean. And I would highly recommend in this destination taking a city tour of Aranjastad, which is their capital city and a really bustling city. Uh, beautiful Dutch inspired architecture, and just like I said, a wide diversity of cultures as well. Another wonderful destination that we'll touch on with these itineraries is Barbados. Um, so as you can see from this beautiful picture, Barbados will give you those lovely Caribbean beach photos that you always want to have on Facebook and on Instagram, the beautiful palm trees, white sand beaches, a bright blue ocean. It's truly just a beautiful sight to see. So of course, beach hopping is kind of the thing to do in Barbados. And it actually offers three different coastlines. So it's 
kind of fun to take an island tour and visit each of these beaches so you can just see the variety that this island brings. Um, so the West Coast beaches are very calm, serene, um, kind of long stretches of sandbar like you see here. The East Coast beaches, on the other hand, are wild and rocky, lots of waves happening, um, but lots of wildlife and animals around as well. So kind of fun for those who like to observe versus swim. And then the South Coast is unique because it offers really long stretches of sandy beach um, and kind of a mix. Not really super rough, um, but a few more waves than the calm west side as well. And the last island I wanted to feature here today is the beautiful St. Lucia. Um, you can see the twin peaks here in the distance. St. Lucia is actually home to twin volcanoes, uh, which is what's created the island. And interestingly enough, it is home to the world's one and only drive-in volcano experience. So talk about a unique shore excursion, one of a kind in the entire world to stop by, visit the volcanoes, um, and just get a look at this beautiful destination. You can see it's very lush, very green. It kind of makes me think of Hawaii with its volcanic origins, uh, bright flowers, and just beautiful greenery. And you'll also find black beaches as well because of those uh, volcanic origins. But nonetheless, a beautiful, one-of-a-kind island awaiting for you in the Caribbean. So the Caribbean, of course, is a beautiful place to travel, but why travel on celebrity? So I'll say celebrity within the cruise space, we offer a new luxury atmosphere. What that means is it is a relatable luxury. We want it to feel very nice, uh, very well and thoughtfully presented, but at the same time, really comfortable, you know, just kind of like your favorite pair of jeans, it just fits so perfect, um, but still look nice all at the same time. So on these Caribbean itineraries we talked about, uh, we will be traveling on the Celebrity Millennium. And if you speak to your travel leaders representative, they can help you locate a virtual ship tour uh, with resources that we offer them as well. So Definitely take a look before you commit to booking, but I think you'll be really impressed with this vessel. We have undergone an extensive renovation for this ship um, just a couple of years ago. So everything has been taken down to the studs in this vessel. Everything is brand new. So here's a look at our beautiful main dining room. You can see it's very light, bright, airy and decor. Ocean View Cafe is kind of our market style buffet. Lots of different varieties and cuisine represented, um, and surely some that are inspired from the Caribbean islands as well. So you get that Caribbean flavor on board with celebrity. We've got a beautiful casino. Uh, so you can see this has been lovely and refurbished as well. And then our rendezvous lounge is kind of the smaller, more intimate venue for uh, local musical guests, comedians, and the like. Nonetheless, a great place to grab a cocktail before dinner and, you know, just sit and talk about your day with the people you're traveling with. The Sunset Bar, as the name would entail, a great place to watch the sunset in the beautiful Caribbean uh, destinations that we'll be visiting here. You can see it's been refurbished with a beautiful kind of nature-inspired pergola. And then we've got a rooftop terrace, which is a great seating area and lends to some uh, evening entertainment as well. So lots of opportunities to be entertained aboard the ship and be comfortable as well. And nothing talks about comfort and relaxation more than the spa. So you can see this has been beautifully renovated, um, but a wonderful way to just relax, grab a massage, a facial, however you prefer to spend your Caribbean vacation. And I know I love to shop as well. So our beautiful high-end shops are a great place to spend any extra onboard credit you might have as well. Here's a look at a couple of the staterooms. So if you love to travel in the most deluxe, luxurious accommodations, we have beautiful suites to offer. The left side, you'll see our penthouse suite. You can see it's very spacious, beautifully decorated, um, and lots of great new features uh, as well. And then we've got a veranda stateroom on the right. So this would be a very typical accommodation, but you can see it is very lovely, beautifully decorated um, and pretty spacious as far as crew standards go at about 250 square feet. So if you do choose to book a suite, we are calling this the retreat experience. So it's all of our suites with exclusive venues, all the perks included. 
So you would dine in your own exclusive restaurant, you would have access to your own exclusive lounge, and then you also have an exclusive sun deck to enjoy those Caribbean views and a little Caribbean sunshine as well. I quickly wanted to speak to you about um, some service that we're offering in Greece. So if you love the idea of island hopping and new luxury style, uh, it is not limited to the Caribbean. We have some new sailing starting up in June, a round trip from Athens, and they're a collection of seven, uh, eight, and then one little six-nighter in there as well. But Greek islands, Cyprus, and Israel, really wonderful destinations to be visiting in the summer. And surely lots to do. Greece, um, as many of you know, it's kind of a, the cradle of civilization. Lots and lots of um, great architecture, um, history, and then certainly beautiful coastlines and delicious food await you in these destinations. Lots to see and do. Um, and then this all is taking place on the beautiful Celebrity Apex. So that's the ship you see below here. Celebrity Apex was actually launched mid-pandemic. So although she has been with us for nearly a year now, she's actually not had anyone sail on her. So if you love being a first adopter, getting to um, sail on a ship the very first time she's out, Greece this summer is an excellent opportunity to do so. We've also just released our brand new ship, the Celebrity Beyond, uh, more space, more luxury, and then it's even more connected to the destination and the sea as well. So. If you're looking beyond this year, because things are still a little uncertain, but you want to commit to a beautiful, new luxury Caribbean vacation, uh, definitely call your travel leaders agent and ask about Celebrity Beyond. It will be beyond your expectations, I can assure you. Okay, so now let's spend a little bit of time speaking about the here and now, the things that are really important today, um, health and safety measures. Um, I know we are all so painfully aware that we are still kind of in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic, although it is really starting to, um, uh, you know, we're starting to emerge from this, which is really fantastic. So um, in the name of health and safety, we have taken a really conservative approach when it comes to our safety measures. We've got wonderful protocols at sea that will surely help to um, it, make sure that everybody is safe. So first and foremost, testing and screening is a great way to mitigate exposure. So we will start by um, ensuring that all crew are vaccinated and we're asking that all guests be vaccinated at the start as well. This only applies to our new summer service on the Millennium and on Apex. And we'll be sure to keep rolling out new protocols as we receive new information from the CDC. Cleaning and sanitization, of course, that has always been at the forefront on Celebrity, ensuring that every surface is clean and that, um, you know, everyone is really just doing well to take care of themselves in terms of having access to hand sanitizers and the like. But we are out rolling out even more robust protocols uh, with electrostatic spray and um, just ensuring that every surface is sanitized every hour. I think another great um, thing that's come out from the pandemic, we realized how very robust our HVAC systems were. So we are actually taking on 100% fresh filtered air um, right every six minutes on board the ship. So whether you're in an inside stateroom or on a veranda, you have access to fresh filtered air that has pretty much 100% of particulate matter, including uh, viral pathogens all removed. And of course, as we start out, we're kind of taking a crawl, then walk, then run approach. So to start out, we'll be looking at social distancing through limited capacity. So we're looking at about um, half full when it comes to sailings, but still a great way to, um, you know, have a, a wonderful vacation and ensure that social distancing applies. We've also rolled out robust medical care by just um, upping the ante in our medical care facilities ensuring that there is extra staff on board and that we also have extra access to testing kits, um, you know, and any sort of additional medical therapies that might be needed while at sea. And then of course, while ashore, we strongly encourage that you book any shore excursions with Celebrity. We have vetted our providers to ensure they are practicing good COVID-19 mitigation policies and that your safety is taken into consideration when you're ashore as well. So that is our best advice in um, 
moving on to shore with us as well. Can I so, ask one question about that, please? Yes. Are you allowing um, shore excursions that are um, not sanctioned by the ship at this time? That's a great question. And I'll tell you right now, we are not allowing shore excursions from third parties. Uh, we were hoping to be able to change that before this, uh, before everything set sail. But for right now, just out of an abundance of caution, we are requiring that shore excursions be booked with us. Excellent. I was just following up on a question. And I think, Angela, we've answered your questions. If you have any follow up ones, just let me know. Awesome. Perfect. Um, so just as a quick recap, testing and screening, um, you know, we will actually be offering uh, antigen testing at the pier prior to embarkation, just as a quick double check. We'll also be offering antigen testing um, as you disembark, because we will need that negative result to head back to the U.S. as the um, standards are set today. So just know we're taking care of that testing. Negative PCR testing is being required by these local governments, being St. Martin and also Greece. So something to consider when making your booking as well. And then of course, cleaning and sanitization. Um, we're just going further than ever before to make sure that everything is clean, sanitized, and everyone's staying healthy on board. And then with the fresh air filtration, I have a quick video I wanted to share with you um, as part of a study we conducted with the University of Wichita. All right, Alicia, we do have another question about that. So um, what about kids who are under 16 and cannot get the vaccine yet? Great question. So of course, vaccines, since they're not available to children, children are not required to be vaccinated. Um, so that's kind of a secondary reason for the negative PCR test as well, um, just to ensure that we're not bringing COVID-19, you know, to our destination partners or on the ships as well. But no vaccines required for children, of course. Okay. And then how about adults that can't take the vaccine due to allergies? That is another great question. And we know, you know, that is such a hard situation to be in. Um, what we're saying right now, just to ensure that the ships are free of COVID, um, our best way to move forward right now is just having everyone vaccinated. So if you are unfortunately allergic to vaccines, I'll say just sit tight. I know that this is a protocol right now. I don't think it will be forever, but just to start out with until COVID conditions improve globally, this is the way that we'll start and then we'll make some changes down the road. All right. Thank you so much. For sure. Great questions. Oops. Sorry. And I love that video just because um, I know a lot of that information is very technical, but it's a great way to see some of the spaces on the ship as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, and then once again, 
uh, while on board, we're keeping that social distancing through limited capacity, 24 seven medical care that is robust, offers testing um, and then critical care beds as well, just in case. And then once again, while ashore, we strongly recommend you purchasing our shore excursions just to maintain maximum safety. So all of this to be considered, I know another big question is why book now? What would the incentive for that to be? Um, and I'll tell you, so with always included, amenities are available always for all guests and all cabins. So drinks, tips, Wi-Fi are now always included with celebrity, really just making that luxury experience even greater. You're shirking that mental weight of worrying about um, you know, your bar bill at the end of the cruise because your drinks are covered. You don't need to shell out an extra $200 for tips. And then of course, staying connected, bragging about your trip on Facebook. That's what we all are looking to do anyway. So nice to have that internet included. And we do know that people have, you know, different needs when it comes to drinks, uh, different needs when it comes to Wi-Fi and so on. So we do offer ability to upgrade your packages as you need. Um, but please discuss with your travel leaders agent. They'll be able to guide you through the various inclusions and find the best fit for you and your budget. Another great reason to book now, we've got wonderful air opportunities out of Minneapolis and other gateways ac uh, across the world. So round trip flights are as low as $500 uh, from MSP to St. Martin. So really great way to get that package vacation, um, save a bit of money on the airfare. I think flights to St. Martin are quite a bit higher these days. Um, but once again, great way to just package your vacation, get it all taken care of under one reservation and getting the best rate with travel leaders. And then of course, We've got you covered. Um, another reason to book now, we've got our cruise with confidence policy. What this does is assure we'll see you dollar for dollar uh, with a future cruise credit should you decide to cancel up to 48 hours prior to departure. So a uh, really nice way to ensure that your investment is preserved. You can always use that credit toward a future sailing down the road. We're also offering COVID-19 coverage as well. This is kind of an assistance policy. What this means is if you were to contract COVID two weeks prior to the sailing or anyone from your traveling party, uh, we would be giving you a refund for your cruise purchase. So just making sure that you know we're helping you with the maximum flexibility between Cruise with Confidence and our COVID-19 assistance policy. And then also just ensuring the safety of all of our guests on board as well. We would never want someone to feel like they had to travel even though they were not feeling well. Um, so these two policies are available for bookings made by May 31st. Um, you know, once again, work with your travel leaders agent on the details, but these are really great, uh, robust policies to, you know, help protect your investment. And then I would strongly recommend that if you do choose to uh, purchase the sailing, Travel protection is a nice way to ensure that you're covered for any other reason. We've got you covered with COVID-19, but make sure that if you've got any other health issues or just um, any other life instances coming up, um, you know, it's hard to tell what's down the road for us, but travel protection just makes it a little easier to deal with those bumps in the road should they come your way. And of course, book with travel leaders. You are going to be getting great pricing. Travel Leaders has access to better than published rates that sometimes come with even better amenities. So be sure to reach out to them when you're ready to make your booking. They have amazing expertise. I am a local business development manager based here in the Twin Cities. So I work closely with the agents at these offices, keeping them in the know of all things celebrity. And then they are just lovely people and will help you every step of the way. So if you, um, you know, need to chat about some different itineraries, get some destination insight. Maybe you've got questions on travel insurance. These guys are here and able to help you out in the best way possible. And with that, I'll say thank you guys so much for joining us here today. I really appreciate you taking the time. Um, and Nora, are there any questions? I don't have any questions right now, but thank you for your kind words, Alicia, and just the great information. I. I'm so excited about these itineraries. And one thing that came into my mind was, do you allow in either Greece or St. Martin to do back-to-back -back cruises if people wanted to do more than one? 
That is a great question. And in a normal world, we allow back to back sailings anytime. In the new normal that we're stepping into, we are not allowing back to back sailings to start. Just again, out of an abundance of caution, trying to keep those sailings to seven nights whenever possible. So, no back to backs to start, but check down the road. You know, if you're booking next year, that would be a great time to book a back to back. Agreed. Well, I love the itineraries. I love what you've done with the Celebrity Millennium, and I can't wait to see the apex. For I don't sure. see any questions coming in, so we're going to wrap it up for today. But Alicia, thank you. Thank you. As always, you've done a wonderful job. And to our customers live and on Facebook and in our Zoom, thanks again. Oh, wait, a question just came in. Ooh, um, for um, for Barbados, can you fly in early and spend time on the island before you cruise? Or um, Athens, for that matter. But that's a great question. Um, so I think maybe they mean St. Martin. We don't allow you to board the ship mid itinerary. Barbados is a stop in the middle. Um, but I can tell you with St. Martin, you can fly in and do a pre-stay or a post-stay prior to the sailing if you wish. Um, just know if you do choose to do that, um, St. Martin is uh, requiring that you purchase a in-transit passenger um, insurance policy. It's about $30 per person, but that's something our friends at Travel Leaders can help you navigate as well. But yes, that is definitely a possibility. So yes, uh, if you wanted to reach out to your travel advisor, they'd be able to help you uh, work out some of the details to spend time in the island um, before or after. Absolutely, yes. All right. If you have other questions, I think you all have my email because I sent out the, uh, the invitation for this event today, but um, I'd be more than happy to get you in touch with your advisor. And again, thank you, Alicia. Everybody have a great afternoon. Thanks everyone, safe travels.